to the final school building committee meeting for the George Hill Middle High School and the Pembroke School, June 12, 2018. Um, joining us this, this evening are the school committee and the um, board of selectmen, if you got, would care to. Sure, Could you uh, make a motion to open the um, school committee meeting for this evening? So moved. Second. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy to be here. Thank Glad you. Glad to have you. I, and likewise for the Board of Selectmen, if I could entertain a motion to open uh, our meeting at so what, about 7 past 7. I'll move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yay. Great. We're happy Thank to have you, you guys. Thank you very much. Well. Mm -hmm. This is a big meeting for it's us, so we're very pleased to have everybody yeah. here. Um, first up, um, with the School Building Committee, I'd like to um, approve the minutes from August 1st, 2017, because that was our last meeting. Would anyone care to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the August 1st, 2017 minutes. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to abstain. I don't think I'm at that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going <laughs> to take we're a. Not there. Oh yeah, I'm going to yeah, take I'm a crack at that and say it wasn't. Um, Michelle and I are going to use this meeting as a way of just wrapping up both projects. We're, so we'd like to take a minute to go through and let you know where we stand. As you know, we have closed out the um, middle high school project. The total project budget that we approved was seven million eight hundred five thousand dollars seven hundred and twenty six dollars the project ended up costing seven million two ninety one thousand three hundred and four that's an under budget savings of five hundred and fourteen thousand four hundred twenty two dollars which is really seven percent of the budget you know, we came in under. So I think that, you know, this committee Hooray. did a fine job <laughs> really handling the money well. Um, MSBA's actual share was $3,391,956. And Georgetown's share was $3,899,348, which was, um, you know, when we went to town meeting, we estimated it our share would probably be about four million and we did come in you know under that mm -hmm. so this this was a very well done project and and we have to thank both of you also because we know the scheduling was quite a challenge <laughs> and I just want to mention something about that um, my son bought a house in Harvard and in the Harvard paper there was a, a letter from um, the arch from the construction company, Lou, because mm -hmm. he lives in Harvard, and he talked yeah. about what a great job we did in Georgetown, oh. Oh, work, oh, really? working a schedule out for a few ye over a few years, spreading <laughs> it out versus trying to build new or you know having to rent things. And he was urging Harvard, the town of Harvard, to look at what Georgetown did. Oh, let's see. Wow. To um, perhaps try <laughs> what we did, and I thought, wow, that was really a nice kudos to mm. everything that went on here. Yes. Okay, so Michelle, you want to talk about Pembroke? Yes. Okay. So the Pembroke project is not officially closed yet. It will make either the August 29th or more realistically the October 31st board meeting at the MSBA. So um, they are still holding back some money. But at this point, we feel confident. All the invoices are paid. Everything is done that we can go with the numbers that we have. And they are very, very, very accurate. So the. Um, the total project bu budget that was approved at town meeting for the Pembroke project was $46,169,400. The total project budget that we had when we started was $44,595,594. So at that point, we had an underbid savings of a little over a million and a half, which at that point, and for any of you that were working with the committee, we had very early on, the committee had decided that we really wanted to do everything in our power not to go into that underbid savings. So the good news is we did not. And the total project final cost, the actual, is actually slightly less than what our, um, the budget was, which is 44 million, 
$576,897. So that gave us, to date, so where we stand right now, we are under almost 1.6 million under budget on that. And the MSBA has paid about 18 million and Georgetown has paid 26.5 million. And at this time, the MSBA is holding back um, approximately $532,000. And that has been confirmed that that will be reimbursed to Georgetown at the, the time of the board meeting. So at that point, Georgetown's actual share dollars goes, will end up being probably 25.8 million to the 26 million. Um, there were a couple things that could end up popping up like it did in the, in the middle high school project. We ended up being reimbursed for a little bit more than, you know, there were some items that were reimbursable that we did not think were reimbursable. So overall, the Pembroke project came in about 5% um, under budget on that. So um, total for both projects, we were over two and a half million dollars under budget for this committee on both projects, trying to do them simultaneously and everything like that. So, that is due to the work of everybody that helped, you know, and all of the town boards really stepped up during one phase or another and helped make all this happen and make it all turn out as great as it did. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we just want to take a minute to thank people. Um, you know, our, I don't believe she was in place at the time, but the state treasurer, Deb Goldberg, who chairs the MSBA, mm -hmm. but we worked with um, John McCarthy, who's the MSBA executive director, and, you know, he really supported this project right along. Um, great builders, you know. It was very interesting having my knees replaced, getting to go to the meetings because I wasn't able to work and see how that that whole operation ran. Um, certainly got to know those brothers too. <laughs> um, Mike Farrell, I, I'm not sure if Mike is here. Mike was always there, such a great uh, resource for Michelle and I and we appreciated the work he did. And, and Janet was our go-to person. Actually, Janet, we went to before Mike because she usually had all the answers. <laughs> and we're that very appreciative of, of how much she has helped us out, right up until getting calls from us yesterday and today. Um, and the Board of Selectmen, of course. You know, we're very grateful to all the work that you did. Many of you served on this board. Uh, many of you just supported it. Many of you, um, you know, just helped pave the way with the town committee. And the same with the school committee. Again, many of you served on the committee or, you know, behind us were just saying, you know, keep going, hang in there, we know you're doing a good job. And, and that kind of support went a long way because Michelle and I certainly were not experienced when we took on this position. And um, the police, the fire, I mean, everybody really stepped up and, and did their part and, and more. And I guess that's why we have the thanks, because we really feel that this is such a lovely town. And people did do more than they were asked without being asked. I think the only people who didn't more, do more than that we asked them was our committee. Because when we asked them to cheer, they all refused. <laughs> and that's the only yeah. time I ever heard anyone on this committee say no. <laughs> But, you know, we, we can't fault you. It certainly was a long haul, you know. Um, Eric and, and Michelle and Kerry and Pam, although you weren't right here at the beginning, you know, you all had young children when we started doing this. And, and Tilly, you've been a pillar of the community right along. You know, your expertise, yours and George really we're, we're, it was such valuable information for us and and jeff and i actually paralleled each other because when we started um by the time this committee started we both had kids in high school that we were just pushing through and we both got knee replacements although i got three to his one <laughs> <laughs> i retired um he's retired you know but jeff was another really valuable member of being an architect he just brought such insight and peter durkee who's 
um, again, as a member of the committee, but also as a, someone who's been in town for a long time, he just had wonderful things to help us with. And, and just actually, let me just say, on Jeff, he so he's down in Westport, I know. and he joined another building committee. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm like, are you a glutton for punishment? <laughs> I think it's like a $96 million high school yeah. or something. So it's a big move. They yes, moved. Uh, they yes. moved it because he retired. the beginning of the summer. That is interesting. Interesting. But, but he's retired now, so yeah. I I can but so understand lucky that. So you're going to join they're another so one now too? I, no, we have no more building fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I am done. But but you know now that I'm retired, I wish this was just starting because having the time Be to put into what you it. Wish for. Yeah, no, I, I am I'm retired. <laughs> I'm done. But. Um, I just think that's really important. And, and last, I want to thank Michelle. You know, sometimes, sometimes you want to do more than just say thank you, but sometimes thank you is, is all that's needed. Mm -hmm. And Michelle and I, we just worked so well together. I mean, who yeah. knew? I, I feel like I don't even want to take you out of my favorites contacts because <laughs> well, you know it was just I used so often and yep. I I thank you from the bottom of my heart for always stepping up and you know just making making this was not an easy job especially when it doubled you yeah, know right. unexpectedly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. you know we we made it through with kids and sports and and you know, with the support of all of you. So thank you, and thank you. Right. right. Well, I do feel exactly the same way, Ellie. And you know, it's funny, Ellie and I joke, Ellie and I are completely opposite, and we, the way <laughs> we think funny. is completely opposite. And even just <laughs> even getting ready for tonight, the stuff that bothers her doesn't bother me. What bothers me doesn't bother her. But that is why we worked so well together, and I think that we were just always able to get things to come together and work. So yes, you are always going to stay in my favorites <laughs> because I could not have asked for a better co-chair to get this done. All right, so a couple other people. So in addition, I now have reading glasses. Oh, there you go. And Very speech. fashionable ones on that. <laughs> so I stand, it's like, but I can't see like two feet in front of me. It's blurry with her, so it's kind of annoying. But um, all right, so just a couple other people. Um, so Jan and Kathy in the town clerk's office I mean they especially in the beginning um, when we were having meetings like every week to every other week and I'd be like Thursday at the deadline oh my god I need to post another agenda or I need to change it or something like that they were always wonderful um, in helping us throughout the entire process helping posting you know I know a lot of us were very lax in getting our um, getting sworn in and she was always good and you know holding extra hours for us and everything like that um, Mary, our town accountant, she wasn't able to be here tonight, but she was amazing. Every anytime I needed to go over numbers with her, she made time for me learning the propay system and dealing with I don't even know how many invoices she had to enter in that propay system. And that probably doubled the amount of work that she had to do over the course of the last eight years, you know, getting all that done. And she did an amazing job at that. Um, Steve Prozemski, our conservation agent, he was great working with our committee, working with um, the different contractors and stuff like that, getting done what needed to get done in a timely manner. Um, and then we have our owner's project manager, Pat, and the architect DRA, Carl and Courtney, and then actually, of course, Chuck Adam, mm -hmm. who, you know, Courtney couldn't be here. I got a great text from her, though, today. Um, so even though both of you had very different roles um, throughout both of these projects. Um, you worked together so well that it made things very easy for both Ellie and for me. From the beginning, in the evalu evaluation of which projects we were gonna do, whether it was gonna be a renovation, a new project, when we looked at the different grade configurations, um, to estimating our budget, and all the intricacies with the design, and all the aspects that happened on the inside of the schools, the outside of the schools, the grounds in the schools, you did a phenomenal job managing it and executing every part of both the Pembroke project and the middle high school project. You had a great understanding of what we needed in Georgetown, but you also understood what our parameters were and the parameters that we needed to work within in order to make the projects work and be feasible for our town. So thank you very much for all that you guys did for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
and Courtney, pass it along. Because, you know, like I said, you know, you guys did amazing. I mean, and obviously from the budget, where we are so under budget, you know, you know, Ellie and I always like, you know, we knew that you were always a little bit more on the conservative side, which was great for us, <laughs> you know, but, you know, we worked hard and diligently and you guys helped us through that and we, we were able to, you know, not borrow as much for the town and the taxpayers and everything like that and still, I think, get basically everything that we needed for the high school and for the Pembroke. So that's huge and, you know, also knowing that the MSBA had never done anything like what they had done with Georgetown with, you know, saying, stop, we're going to give you a second project in the middle, but you got to go do another feasibility study. You have to do all this. And, you know, I mean, that was really kind of crazy. So, but we did it all and still over $2 million on the budget. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Oh, I forgot something. I, I also wanted to thank Pam and um, Kerry because they always stepped up to take minutes for us when oh, we yeah, needed it. You. Yeah. <laughs> that was, you know, that was a big deal. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to acknowledge that because really no one else was stepping up either. So I appreciate that you always yep. were Our more than willing. Very happy when Chuck yeah. <laughs> took the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <he's alive. laughs> sure. Chuck did a good job, yeah? Yeah, he did. Yep. Well, don't, don't forget yourselves. Either. Can I yeah. say something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll say something. <laughs> Without you two, I don't think this project could have gone off the mm -hmm. ground. Yeah. Here, here. I mean, you put in so many hours, mm -hmm. and you were literally, like I was saying before, the captain of the ship. Oh. And without you guys, it would never have happened. Oh. Could, could, you could you put your hands in front of the ship. Yeah. Yeah. What are you saying? They should change it to Sinkowitz Smith? <laughs> yes. Sound like a little law firm, right? <laughs> Smith and Sinkowitz, yeah. Sounds like a company. Yeah. yeah. Um. Um, all right. And then, obviously, to our superintendent, Carol Jacobs, for your constant support throughout all these projects, the countless, countless meetings that you attended, even when you had other you know, family commitments, and we know that you put this in front of some of those, so we so appreciate that. Um, your endless commitment and time spent ensuring that these building projects were executed to bring the greatest benefit to Georgetown, while also simultaneously improving the curriculum that was happening in all of these schools. So thank, thank you. you very much. And you really smoothed the way between the community and and the schools so and the yep. the athletics and everything and and. I feel the same thing that you were really instrumental in making this go very smoothly. Well, I appreciate we, it. It's really my honor, honestly, because yeah. projects is great. Everybody that comes into that school at Pembroke comments about it, and we're thrilled to tell the story. We always tell them about the different decisions that we made, but like, yeah. wow, that's really great. So I think we, we all, as a community, have a wonderful product. The kids yeah. are taking great care of it. You know, our custodians are wonderful. Mike and his crew are awesome. And the middle high school, you know, there's a few things we still need to do, you know, like just, talk. but little stuff like floor tiles or yeah. painting the lockers, not humongous things like we had before this project. Right. So, right. you know, it truly was my, my honor and my privilege to be able to be so involved because right. mm -hmm. it is a product we're all very, very proud of. For sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your comments. And then lastly, but certainly not least, our Director of Building and Grounds, Mike Anderson. <laughs> so Ellie and I could never single out any one person for their contributions to these projects because obviously so many people worked so hard and so diligently to get us to where we are today. But Mike, you were always ready, willing, and able to help 24-7. It didn't matter. I mean, we, there were times we had meetings and like the cell phone was in the middle of the table yeah. <laughs> and Mike was at home, but he was answering all our questions. Yeah. You know, you helped throughout both projects, always stepping up, getting the job done. It didn't matter if it had to do with the paperwork, um, working on an internal system in one of the schools or outside on the grounds. You truly just helped to make the success of both of these schools what it is today. So yeah. thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Mike. Mike. Very well deserved. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Can you say something? Yes. Sure. Yes. I, I do want to second what um, Tilly had said because I just think that you two were great in uh, being the captain for this committee. The amount of time that all of you spent on the committee to me is just 
so commendable because you spent countless hours uh, for our kids, which I think is amazing. And the fact that it was just, you know, we had Tilly who's been in town for so long, and then we had like, you know, Ellie who had the twins and they're off, and then you have Carrie who has the little ones, and it's just, to me, it was so great seeing all the different levels of community members being a part of it, and everybody just gives their own real, you know, swing of what um, they wanted to see happen. You were all so professional. Every time we asked you to come in and, and um, show us, you know, what was going on, we appreciate that you always came. It was never <laughs> like that. Oh, um, the professionalism of both Pat and Carl was amazing in their group. Um, it was just really a nice experience mm -hmm. for the school committee. We, we really didn't have to be on top of you because between the superintendent communicating with us and you guys communicating with us, we just felt like everything was going to be fine. So really to everybody on the committee from Rob Hoover and the people that um, started and maybe didn't end up, um, Dave Surface was on it mm -hmm. as well. It's just a, a large amount of time and for me and my family I want to say thank you and from the school committee I want to say thank you and both schools look phenomenal and I do want to give kudos to Mike because uh, <laughs> his, Mike and his crew are great and yep. you're right he is just there whenever you need him yep. you know yep. but really ladies you did a fantastic job and I'm so proud of it I really am yeah. thank, thank you, you. Thank you bring up a good point you know I really don't think we have any bad or negative stories yeah. you know we, we yeah. had a lot of bumps <laughs> as everybody knows yeah. you know I mean with the two pro we had a lot of bumps dirt but you know but you know with everybody's help we were able to work through them all and like you said very professionally yeah. you know and it was just it, it was a pleasure to work with everybody mm -hmm. That's great you know hear. it really was mm -hmm. even Eric Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. He's sitting here. I can tell you about that later. No. But Eric, I have to say, with his travel schedule and everything, yeah, I he know. really went out of his way to be at as many meetings yes, as he could. So I, I have to say, and you you hated to miss them. I did. Yeah, I think you know, called it wasn't in like he was like, oh, boy, I don't know. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, I know, and sometimes he would fly in on Monday night, I, I, or two, what, you know, right. and then fly out Every Wednesday time. morning yeah. just to be here for the meeting. That's so, yeah, thank so you. I think that's That's dedication. And, and I feel that way about the committee. There are many times where we had some really crucial meetings and we had to make some serious decisions. Mm -hmm. And other people mm -hmm. on the committee had family obligations or traveled yeah. and did the same thing, called in. And I think that just says so much about the quality of the people, mm -hmm. not just in this committee, but in this town, that you care that much, you know, to, to realize that, you know, this was a serious matter and I, I think that's how we handled it. So it's it's been a pleasure, that's for sure. Absolutely. Anyone else? Well, I was just going to just chime in real quick and say, on behalf of municipal building consultants, myself, Chuck, who participated, uh, Peter Cox, who was on the job yep. full time. Yep. Oh, yep. It's really been an honor, and we really appreciate the award. Uh, again, like I said, it's it's been terrific. Uh, and I will say that having done many many schools over my career, my decades of building schools. This has really been one of the more professional groups. When I say groups, I'm talking about the entire community. Yeah. There's nobody we work with. I don't care what department it was, who we work with, the entire staff, the entire committee. I mean, there were some tough times, some tough decisions, but on the same token, everybody came together, mm -hmm. and it was really a very, very cooperative. So I would say this has really been one of the, the top communities I've worked with, quite frankly, in the state. Uh, it's been, oh, it's very been, nice it's been to hear. And we thank the cooperation we got from everybody, and. Uh, we, we appreciate starting right off the bat with the award because if nothing would have happened unless we got the award, you know. Mm -hmm. So, right. again, like yeah. I said, there aren't many that can say they built an original school on that site, <laughs> <laughs> came back and do it again. And quite frankly, I'm not retiring because you might need another school on that site, <laughs> and I want to be around. <laughs> you two got two out of two, yeah. two, out of the two right? Yeah, two yeah. for two. Yeah. 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 And actually, Georgetown can be very proud. I don't think it's the first, I think it's the first community that ever awarded, was awarded a job that never asked M MSBA for it. Because oh. MSBA gave right. you that job without right. asking. There were right. communities that languished years yep. right. on a list waiting for something to happen. Right. Yeah. And here they came in and they were very cooperative. So MSBA was yeah. terrific to so the town. Well, they kind of didn't give us a choice. <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah, they, but they it was a good, you know what, it was great for our town. Yeah. And yeah. they also have to 
probably acknowledge the legislators that helped us because I remember trying to yep. get on that list mm -hmm. and Barbara Latalian, mm -hmm. Harriet yes. Stanley, and Bruce, Bruce Tarr Bruce all Tarr. sitting yeah, at Pembroke yeah. Yeah. talking about yeah. how important this project was and I know they all went to MSBA yeah. and made sure that you know right. we got moved up on the list so you know we, we're lucky in this area to have people who we're are very afraid fortunate. to sort of work on our behalf Right. at a higher level. So I, I think when we're thanking people, those those people probably mm -hmm. deserve to be on the list as yep, well. Exactly. Yep. I kind of left Kyle out of the equation, but Kyle and Courtney and his staff, oh, yeah. they're always terrific to work with. Every, anytime we have a chance to work with them, we relish that thought because they're very professional, they're on top of it, and they're realists. A lot of people are doing what they're doing that, quite frankly, sometimes drift off into another realm of rationale. Well, again, like I said, we enjoy working with individuals that have their feet on the ground and can make good decisions and work cooperatively with everybody else in, in the community. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a great uh, great pleasure, and we thank everybody that we've been involved with and with the time. Well, likewise, we enjoyed working with everyone, and we know you guys were on the job long before we even got here. You should be commended for that. As as with Pat, we've done a lot of these projects, and yours is one of the more dedicated committees we've ever encountered in all our years. Oh, it's nice wow. to hear. Be commended. I'm sorry, well, Courtney you. wasn't here because I, know, I, I know. totally loved watching her <laughs> at those meetings yeah. where, like, she didn't take any guff from those boys. <laughs> let me just tell you, <laughs> yes. and uh, you know, she did right. it always very nicely. Yeah. I loved watching her. She was an artist, yeah. and uh, you know, she knew how to get stuff done, and she knew the questions to ask. Like when people were trying to wiggle, she knew what question to ask. <laughs> she was she pinned them right down, yeah. and and she she was a great person to have. On that job. Thanks, she was girl. also great. I'll pass that along. She, yes. she could have brought Henry. We she would have been okay with that. that. Also a great listener. Yeah. Because, you know, remember those first stages where we were talking to the teachers? Yes. And it yeah. was kind of tricky because we were moving two staffs together. We were creating, yeah. they yeah. didn't know what to expect. And, you know, Courtney would sit with them and she would listen. And I felt like, you know, mm. a lot of the teachers' voices were really heard by the fact that Courtney was there. And I will tell her those things myself. But I, I have to say, I was really admired watching her work mm -hmm. and you as well but I think you know from her she worked on the sort of a level, right, layer right. down from you yes mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think she's very artful you're very Thanks. lucky we'll to have her along. on your staff yes if and always available if recorded we could watch it too if we could. Yeah, that's right <laughs> I know. Yeah, when you dial in the cable TV yeah. exactly well tell her to, exactly. to go ahead and check we'll it because yeah. we <laughs> send her our thanks we yeah. don't want you to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's on YouTube yeah Right, Janet? Yes. Yeah. Sounds like everybody wants to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Are you volunteering? Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll keep you in mind. You need your leadership. <laughs> now I have the time. Yeah. You know, th things are different now. Or performance, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sure the right. town could use some other volunteering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. This was a special oh, one, I keep, I always I keep my eye out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll keep my eye out. Anything else? <laughs> okay. Well, I would up? like to make a motion to adjourn our final meeting. <laughs> I second. So move. Favor. All favor. All approved. Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much.